Alright, so I'm going to tell you right now the best way to generate speed on the ice, the best way to generate acceleration, is to dip and use crossovers. This is a fail. Watch this player right here. Look at that puny little dip there. He completely fails to support the play. As you can see, this player has the puck right now. This <laughs> right, right, meow. This player who is he's just gonna like do a little tiny dip right there. So he's like half-assing it. He should be flying around here in support, getting low support for the puck, giving him an option, a, a good option. What this also does is creates a gap, creates a gap from these defensemen who are right here next to him. You can't see them because they're off the screen. But there's defenseman right next to him, and if he just goes down here and then goes up, he's not going to be able to get hardly any acceleration at all before he runs smack dab into a defenseman. So even if he does get the pass, he's not going to be able to do anything with it. If he curls down low, and maybe I can get this, uh, there we go. Ooh, that's nice. If he curls down low, instead of going like that, he's got all that space to accelerate. He becomes an option because he's not cut off by this guy. And when he gets the puck, he's got this speed. He's got a big gap between the defensemen, a favorable offensive gap, and he can make a play happen with that speed. And he he'll have all the time and space to be creative with the puck and to attack along the dots or whatever he wants to do, right? So this is what you don't want to do. No option at all. See the puck eventually squirts loose here, and if he had been, oops, if he had been. Uh, curling around like that, then he'd be right there, you know, in stride going this way, he'd be below the puck in a good position to drive through it and really get on the attack. So, you know, you live and learn. Do not be lazy with your dips. I, I don't know why you would be, it would destroy any offensive chance you might have had. Get down low, below or parallel to the puck with the crossover dip every time.